Welcome to your election command center. Let's do some politics now. And clearly it's been a heated day in the Ashanti region as all political activists are there campaigning for votes. Starting from the camp of the NPP, its flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has promised to remove taxes on mobile phone imports um, that come into the country if... Ghanaians give him the power. Addressing party supporters at the Shiaeso constituency, the vice president said that the removal of the taxes will ensure Ghanaians purchase their mobile phones at affordable prices. The party supporters gladly welcomed the NPP flag bearer and vice president at the Baumia Community Connect. He promised that a future government under his administration will drastically reduce cost of data and remove taxes on the purchase of mobile phones. We are bringing down the import duty. We are eliminating the import duty on mobile phones so that mobile phones, Nobuano, Ebeba form, Amamo, and also the cost of data. We are going to bring down the cost of data, the cost of data for our youth. Earlier, the NPP flag bearer informed the chiefs, clergy, and Muslim clerics of Inshiaeso of constructing a railway line from Accra to the northern part of the country. He said the railway will improve transport and businesses across the country. From Kuma, uh, Accra, Tema, Kumasi to Paga, that central line no, is very important. You will iron ore and all of that. Because uh, that line no arm back. Wankra port in Kumasi will not be effective. You hear rail line from Accra to Kumasi to make Buankra effective. During my term, me person made the investors about na yenye emma Ghana mine to transform Ghana in terms of uh, economic activity. Memuru subenya ijuma bibri aye mini yumat for akasa na kajro muse ye be yes ijuma ya. I want all the materials, the steel, the concrete to be made in Ghana. Later, the NPP flag bearer and vice president, Dr. Mahamud Baumia, exchanged pleasantries with people and market women and traders. And in the eastern region, flag bearer of the NDC, John Mahama, is asking residents of Chebi in the Ibuakwa South constituency to demand their $8 million from President Tekufado, as he promised them in 2016. On the first day of his campaign in the eastern region, John Mahama has been asking Ghanaians to demand accountability from the NPP, a report by Komla Kluche. John Mahama's first port of call was in Sawa Madraje constituency, where he criticized the ruling party for what he described as a repeated pattern of shifting blame rather than addressing the problems. He moved shortly thereafter to teacher mountain in the Yenswana constituency. Mr. Mahama claimed that most major polls show the NDC is in the lead and the MPP is now circulating their own polls suggesting they are ahead. He urged Ghanaians to see through the strategy and focus on their experiences under the current government. Then he slammed the MPP on how the rail transport has been run aground. Take it, me free Accra Eban Sawam. Near say, say when you be a ma was here, I won't bother chrono. And then I make her say, Kedeke man Sawam Bium. Rails are a war form, I can take a nam sono. MPP for a two two rails, no, a tongue. He affirmed a promise to improve the mode of transport from the eastern side. He then moved to Adesu in the Upper West Akim constituency. He also campaigned in the Samankese of the Lower West Akim constituency. The entourage then moved to Chebi in the Buakwa South constituency. An avowed and unrepentant MPP stronghold, the locals were uncharitable to the president. <laughs> For John Mahama, Chebi must demand eight million dollars for the entire period. The MPP has been in office. A boy South, huh? Yes, say. Yeah, the $1 million ever, every year. 
Anka one farm ma obi ampo anka bua kwa self there. Anka one million dollars or some on sanka. Ezu. Ente mene mo kasey. Anka by now bua kwa self moenya eight million dollars. Ah mo dia ye mpunto. Me ba ye the list ten 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 atre me. Akwa ya say ensu e ni ho enyo ma be bre akechi. Anka nya sa eight million dollars. Ezu ya diya sa anyo ma ni na. Ezu sa bua e she ambem. There's a clarion call from John Mahama to Ghanaians to approach this election with all the seriousness it deserves as it remains a major communal labor of Ghana against the MPP. Kamala Kluche, TV3 News, Chebi. Away from the eastern region, the Governor New Patriotic Party and Opposition National Democratic Congress have all committed to safeguarding the election materials that have been deployed to the region ahead of the December 7 elections. Let's go to Kumasi where our reporter Ibrahim Abubakar is standing by to update us on the arrival of materials and concerns by political party representatives. Ibrahim, thank you so much for your time. When did the regional EC office take delivery of these logistics and what are party agents saying? So, for sure, um, all the ma uh, materials arrived last night, and the party agents were there uh, waiting for its arrival. In fact, they made some checks, and the initial concern when it got to the police depot at Patashi was that uh, where the materials will be kept, the NDC opposed to it, and eventually uh, they changed the room to where the materials will be kept. And the EC put their padlock there. The NDC also brought in their padlock. And the MPP and other political parties also put their padlock there so they will be safeguard, uh, able to safeguard the ballot. Then secondly, it had to do with um, some missing leaflets or ballot papers. Now, what the EC has done is that for every constituency, they look at the total registered voters and give... 2% of the registered voters, additional 2% of materials, so that in an event some of the materials get destroyed or something happens, and these 2% will be able to fill in. But for Aquafrom, they realized that one of the booklets had 39 of its um, leaflets, I mean each ballot paper missing from the booklet. So there were some misunderstandings there, but um, eventually, too, they had to take stock, um, agree, and allow those materials to also pass. So for now, all the political parties who were there are satisfied with the voting materials that arrived. But then they have all decided to um, place their men at the police depot so that they will also be policing the ballot. They said they are not leaving there until December 7. When all the materials are distributed to all the polling um, to all the polling stations, uh, let's listen to what the representative of MPP and NDC have been telling me. We are okay with the police administration uh, taking custody of that, but uh, from my experience uh, since 2016, although it will be it will be in the custody of the police administration, we've always. Uh, uh, kept our men guarding as well. So we are not afraid of anything. We have men who will be here uh, 24 hours uh, policing the premises with the permission of the police administration. We checked everything. Everything was intact. We will bring our security, internal security to protect the ballot papers so, um, on the Fifth or see that the ballot will go back to the various constituencies. Ibrahim, thank you so much for that update. And Ibrahim Abubakar is our Shanti regional correspondent. And we stay on the same subject and this time around cross to the Upper West region to speak to Castro Senyala, Upper East region rather. Uh, Castro Senyala is joining us. Castro, we are told that the ballot materials or the EC materials have also arrived. Walk us through the arrival process and also when the EC officials received it. Were there any concerns that were raised? And you can see on your screens that this is actually the packaging of the materials from from the greater Accra region and has been distributed to the various regions. This is what we are seeing.
intervene in the Upper East region. And our reporter will give us an idea of what exactly transpired when it arrived, whether concerns were raised or not. All the wiring or um, the clippings you see on it are the various political parties' clips that is put on it, or they call it the seals. Castro, thank you for joining us. So what exactly happened when these arrived? Were there any concerns? Martin, the situation in the Ashanti region, as reported by my colleague, is not different from here in the Upper East region, where uh, the election materials arrived today. The only problem is, I mean, the only difference is that, uh, unlike uh, there's where we have had, uh, uh, or we are going to have party agents, I mean, manning uh, where the election materials have been stored. That is not the case here in the Upper East region. Here has been very peaceful. And in fact, um, both the EC and the party agents have worked together to ensure that uh, the election materials are put somewhere and, and, and taken uh, good care of until December 1st, when they will be taken out partly for the voting, of, I mean, the special voting, I mean to say. And we can see that uh, you are at the police station. Is that where these materials will be stored? <laughs> Yes, uh, Martin, I'm still at the premises of the Upper East Regional Police Command where uh, the election materials are supposed to be stored. In fact, they've been stored uh, in the armory. That's what we understand. Uh, the process just uh, finished, and in fact, they are I mean, wrapping up to leave uh, the police command. But this is where we've been since 2 o'clock when uh, the party agents and that of the EC and the police and other state security agencies escorted the materials into the compound or the premises of their command. Well, thank you very much, uh, Castro Senyala. With that update from the Upper East region where the EC materials have arrived, we'll keep you updated as other regions receive theirs. And Chairman of the Savannah Regional Security Council, Said Jibril, has stated that the Regional Security Council will arrest and prosecute anyone whose actions have the potential to cause chaos in the build up to the December 7 elections. Security continues to be a major concern for voters, especially in the build up to the 2024 general elections. The Savannah region is one of the hotspot regions identified in the country. This is so primarily because it is the home region of the NDC flag bearer, John Dramani Mahama. Savannah Regional Minister Said Muhaz Jubro has been giving assurances that the December 7th election will be peaceful. The Savannah region is going to be a hotspot, a flashpoint, because the leading opposition leader is coming from this place or hills from the savannah region and so we want to make sure that the processes are very smooth for everybody to go and vote and come back home these elections are going to be free and fair and there's no any machine put in place for rigging of the election they